on my way to work and I realized I'm not paying attention but like I reached back because I have to keep my sunglasses in this case and my backpack so I rushed behind the seat to grab them it's like ow my arm hurts really bad this one spot and I looked no idea if you can see it or not but I'm trying to make a picture or something but on my forearm I, oh, it actually hurts just a touch I got a big bruise I know why it's for us. It's not like, oh my gosh, why, why did you get a bruise? It's because I moved those arcade machines. And that's where I was resting the machine on my arm uh, when I was moving it on the dolly. Uh, I did the same thing with the uh, Revolution Next Door. It's taller. It, they were up here. Now it's just like right there. I'll show a picture of it. But, um, yeah, I enjoy them. They smell like old wood, which exactly they are. <laughs> I need to go over them. Um, the one thing I, li I like to do, because they are wood and they are very old, I'd, li I'd like it if they didn't have uh, mold in them. I don't think they do. Because I've looked, I, I did a very quick look inside of them and everything, and everything looked okay. Um, so that's my that was my only concern about that. But I do want to open them up, make a good inspection, make sure that there's no uh, nastiness. Basically, get out, clean all the dust that's inside of them, because these things are thirty some years old and they are enclosed, and some people just never open them. Like I, the, when I bought the Revolution X, the guy told me, I've owned this thing for 12 years and never opened it. And I'm like, okay. So I need to clean the monitor on it. I, just, I haven't. But I need to. <laughs> but yeah, that, that things like that you need, I need to do. Make sure that they are in good working order. So far, none of them really have any issues that I can tell. I mean, as I play them more and they're on more, I'll see exactly if there's any more, if there's an issue or not. Um, let's see. Yeah, so far, so good. I'm enjoying them. Didn't get to play them much yesterday. Uh, when I got them, got them in the house, I was so tired that I kind of sat down and took a break. I played all three of them a little bit. I'm leaving a little later than normal, so there's a lot more traffic out. Generally, I like to leave maybe about 10 minutes ago. That way, there's no traffic. <laughs> but the arcade machines, my brain just does not want to focus right now. Haven't had my, haven't had my three gallons of coffee yet. <laughs> but yes. They're very nice, and this person needs to go on. A lot of the stuff I know in the past, I've talked about arcades and wanting to make, basically make one for my son, and I'm getting there. But there are a few games that I would like. I have the Tubin, which is great. I have the... Uh, I have Rampage, which is great. I have Frogger, and I have the Nintendo Cab, uh, which is the Versus system. So those games are really cool. I'm glad I have them. Uh, the Neo Geo and everything, I'm glad I have Revolution X. But there are certain games I want that are kind of iconic to me. I'd like to have a Mortal Kombat. I'd prefer to have a Mortal Kombat 2. Uh, What I'd like to do is make a Mortal Kombat 2 cabinet. I'd like to have one in good condition. I'd like to, I could put Mortal Kombat 1 in it with it and use a switcher. That would be my that would be ideal for me. Also, I'd like to get uh, something like uh, what's it called? Sunset Riders, X Men, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Simpsons. I'm, and not, I don't mean like each of those would like to have their own cabinet. I'd like to get maybe the board and then 
I can get one cabinet and to get a switch that I can switch between the four. That'd be ideal. Because I do, I love beat em ups. I played those a lot growing up as a kid. And I need a racing game. And that's, if I can get the racing game, the turtles, and the Mortal Kombat, that would be the, a really good arcade that I think I'd have. love if I could actually what I need to do is start getting things so I can start cycling through them actually um, basically as I get one if I, if I see a game I'd like I can trade for another game that I have because these the games I mean sometimes they're so expensive trading is almost a lot better <clears throat> So what I can do is I can go, hmm, I have a blah, blah, blah. I'd like to have blah, blah, blah. Will you trade for it? And sometimes I go, yeah, sure. Because sometimes these things can be fairly expensive. Especially when you start getting up into the more rare stuff. But anyways, I'm going to now. I'm going to get off here and stop talking. Talk to you later now.